Hey everyone and welcome to part 11 of creating a C-Sharp RPG game. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a simple tooltip system. So what you could use this for is when you hover over an enemy or an NPC or player from a distance you can see basic stats where your cursor is currently. So if your cursor is hovered over an enemy maybe you want to find out what that enemy name is, uh, what type of monster it is, or if it's an enemy player. If you can't see it from a distance, you can find out their name, uh, maybe their HP, their class, something along those lines of a little bit of extra stats displayed on your HUD instead of just floating text above the character. So in order to set this up, we're just going to jump into our code real quick. Uh, we're just going to be using two variables for now. You can add in as many as you want, but for simplicity's sake right now, we're just going to be messing with two variables. So what we want to do is create a variable, a uh, simple bool for hover over active. So this is going to tell us whether our mouse cursor is currently hovering over, you know, an enemy, an NPC, or anything like that. And then we're just going to have hover name. So this is going to be the text that's displayed uh, next to the en or next to your cursor when you're hovering over an enemy. Now for this, you could add in a bunch of extra stats. So if you wanted to grab like uh, the enemy's health or anything like that, you're going to have to add in extra variables here for that. And before we get on to the GUI element, I'm just going to scroll down and we're going to go over the basic code for what we're going to set up to get the actual raycast working for the hover. So we're just going to be using a, another simple raycast here, like what we you would use for clicking on an enemy. So for our selection, our selecting target, uh, we call it a raycast, and this is to actually grab the enemy and, you know, check everything and apply it to, you know, what enemy we have selected. But for this, it's going to be kind of a passive thing that's always running. Uh, just it, all it's doing is looking out for if there's something that we're hovering over that needs to display some kind of stats. So we're just going to be creating a ray, and this is going to send out a raycast from our mouse's position to the in-game uh, location. So it raycasts from where our cursor is to in-game. And our raycast hit, uh, we're just going to be using that to tell what object we hit. And for this, we're just going to be calling yet again another physics raycast outwards. And we just set it for 10,000 units. Uh, you can set that for further if you want, or just leave it at that. And then we're going to come down here, and we're going to say, if that raycast hits an enemy, like we did down here, that we want to activate our hover um, uh, GUI element. So if we did hit an enemy, we want to set hover over active to true. So this will make it so it will actually display our GUI element. Uh, that we have set up in the on GUI function. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to actually grab that enemy's name. So we're going to create a variable called hover name, which is just going to be a string. And what we're going to be doing is taking that hit object, so whatever we hit, and we're going to grab dot transform get component, and we're going to grab the script of where the variable is that we want to take. So in this case, we want to take enemy name. So if we go over to our enemy stats script, like we stated here, and we go in here, I created a new enemy name. Now all you have to do now is just go onto your enemy and type in a name for that enemy. Now for this, what we could do is we could add multiple things. So if you want to do a, another if statement exactly like this, or should I say else if, and you want to name that NPC. So if you have a bunch of NPCs in your game, and you want to display different stats for that, well, you're going to. Uh, so if you did an NPC, I'm pretty sure that the NPC would probably have a different piece of code that's applied to it. So you're going to need to grab that, whatever code you applied to that uh, NPC. So this could be NPC stats, and there's probably going to be different variables in there, like NPC name. Because if you try grabbing the this variable, uh, from something else like an NPC that doesn't have it on there, it's going to throw out error codes or crash your game because it can't access that information. It's not the correct line of code that we need for that. So hover name, 
uh, that'll just be I'm just making it kind of a global variable just so if you did want to add an NPC one in you didn't have to have like uh, hover NPC name hover enemy name or anything like that we could just keep it all in one variable and then our else statement so if currently since this is always being called we want to make sure that if it's not hitting anything that we don't want this active at that time that our GUI is hidden when there's nothing uh, being hit. So now up here in our on GUI function this is a built-in unity function for controlling the GUI elements uh, we want to go and say if hover over active so if we hit something that we're hovering over we want to activate it and what this will do is we're going to be creating a GUI label you could do this also with a GUI texture or anything like that but for now we're just going to be using a GUI label and what we're going to be doing is placing this label at input mouse position X so the position of your mouse is X minus 100 so for this uh, you could also add minus to the Y as well but this is offsetting so currently it's going to place uh, this at the X in the center of your cursor and this Y at the center of your cursor but if you want to offset it away from your mouse so it's not covering up any of the text you can move it to any position offset from there and this is just the size of your that you want the text label to be and then the text that you want to include in here so what you could do is you could add a bunch of different variables in here you can put them on uh, different lines so they go down in a list or something like that or however you want to set this up so there's a bunch of different things you could do with this besides a GUI label you could also have yeah like a GUI texture behind it and then put uh, your labels on top of the texture and adjust it depending on you know how long the string is or anything like that it might get a little more complex but yeah there's just a lot of ways to customize that so if we jump in the game and we go and without e even selecting our enemy here we can just hover over and you see the little pop-up for the enemy one that we have set up and that's just our uh, generic enemy name right now but if we go out of game and we go here I could offset this as well so we could do minus 100 and I can do minus 300 for this and save it just to show you guys real quick how that offset works so now you see our enemy text is all the way to the uh, on the other side of the screen there so yeah there's that way to customize it and then yeah you can just add any GUI elements that you want uh, and textures and whatnot to customize that so that's a basic way of setting that off every time I hover off it hides that displayed text and yeah you can customize this for any NPCs enemies uh, anything like that